The discovery of the spear point in Virginia is proof that Europeans reached North America. But after that, all evidence of them vanishes. Did they journey deeper into the New World, or did they die out? The answer may have been found in a new and rapidly expanding science, the study of human DNA. Every human gene is a history book, containing markers dating back to the origin of our species. While looking at DNA samples from the Ojibwe First Nation of Central Ontario, molecular anthropologist Mike Brown uncovered something shocking. Frankly, when we looked at the initial data, I think that uh, surprised uh, was the first reaction. Mike was expecting proof that all native North Americans originally migrated from Asia. Instead, he found a totally unexpected DNA marker. But could the fate of the clan be explained by this new marker? Surprise number one was the fact that uh, it comprises a full quarter of some Native American populations. That's a lot. Surprise number two was that we found this lineage in, uh, in, the, in the Native Americans, but also it had been found in Europe. The evidence meant something extraordinary. The story of the European hunters did not end in Virginia. They must have survived, but how? After the death of her brother, Zia and the new clan have set up a winter camp on the coast. They have a compelling reason to stay. Zia and Giard's daughter may truly be the first North American. She won't grow up alone. 3,000 miles away, on the far side of the Atlantic, the remaining clans still look to the sea for their survival. The ice bridge is still open. In time, others can cross. Talking about folks that found a way to exploit this incredibly rich environment, this ice, ice edge environment, and then had land at both ends and just kept going back and forth for generation after generation. Over several hundred years or a thousand years, we might be talking about thousands of people that went back and forth. Six thousand years later, these are Zia and Girard's descendants. They have spread deep into the continent. The ice age is over. The ice bridge has now melted. But as one highway closes, another opens. In the Yukon and the Northwest Territories, melting ice has exposed a land bridge to Asia. New people can now enter North America. descendants of the clan, an extraordinary meeting was about to take place.
I think that encounter would have been a, a very interesting thing to witness. They probably had completely different languages, completely, they were totally unfamiliar with each other. Um, and that, that encounter, I think, would be, would be something to behold. For the first time in history, humankind has circled the planet. People from Europe and people from Asia will now forge a new civilization, the native peoples of the new world. It's just such an exciting thing because it's so different from what I was taught. It gives us a whole new way to think about how the entire human race spread around the world. Bruce Bradley and Dennis Stanford have uncovered what archaeologists thought impossible. That cavemen from Europe discovered North America. This stone spear point is rewriting the story of a continent. It reveals the first Americans made an epic journey that changed the course of history.